वेलकम बैक टू मेडी क्लास लन एप और द लेजर असिस्टेड न्यू अटैचमेंट प्रोसीजर द अल्टीमेट गोल ऑफ रिकन्स्ट्रक्टिव पेरेडोनल सर्जरी इज टू अचीव रीजनरेशन ऑफ पेरेडोनल स्ट्रक्चर पेरेडोनल रीजनरेशन इन्वॉल्व द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यू सिमेंटम फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यू एलविल बोन एंड फंक्शनली अलाइन पेरेडोनल लिगमेंट न्यू अटैचमेंट इज अनादर हीलिंग आउटकम ऑफ द रिकन्स्ट्रक्टिव पेरेडोनल सर्जरीज it is the embedding of new pedon ligament fibers into new cementum and attachment of epithelium to a tooth previously denuded by disease this image represents the presence of subgingival calculus leading to formation of pocket pedontal ligament loss and alveolar bone loss new attachment involves reduction of pocket and attachment of connective tissue fibers and epithelium onto the previously denuded tooth surface advances in pedonal therapy has led to the formation of new procedures that are less invasive more effective less painful and cause minimal post operative discomfort to the patient laser assisted new attachment procedure or lanap is one such procedure that allows healing by regeneration and new attachment lanap is a minimally invasive pedonal surgery protocol that uses neodymium doped yttrium aluminum garnet or the ndyg laser it uses a periolays mvp7 digital dental laser it is a pulse laser and has a wavelength of 1064 nanometers the concept of lenap is it promotes self regeneration of the lost attachment and osseous structures it causes disinfection of the tooth and implant surface it helps in achieving hemostasis and allows biomodulation of cells which causes better healing so lenap involves use of a laser with wavelength 1064 nanometer that targets the deceased pedontal pocket this is followed by removal of the necrotic epithelium which is stripped from the connective tissue this occurs at the level of the retinal ridges the connective tissue is spared in the process and this allows healing by regeneration lanap is indicated for treatment of chronic periodontitis in case of multiple infra bony defects and in case of periimplantitis it is noted that lanap can either be performed as a single step procedure or can be done in multiple appointments when done in multiple appointments it is advised to perform in one or two non adjacent quadrants coming to lanap protocol the step 1 involves giving profound anesthesia to the patient with a local anesthetic agent this helps in exploring or assessing the pocket depth this is followed by use of optical glass fiber tip this is a 316 micrometer diameter optical glass fiber tip the tip is advanced from coronal direction to the apical direction up to the probing depth of the pocket it is also called as a first pass the laser is set at power of 4 watts pulse duration of 100 microseconds a repetition rate of frequency of 20 hertz energy density of 1965 millijoules per millimeter square the purpose of first pass is to achieve deepithelialization of the pocket epithelium and killing of the pigmented bacteria the next step involves scaling and root planing with a piezoelectric ultrasonic instrument this is followed by blunt dissection to induce bleeding the mechanism is called as regional accelerated phenomenon this is followed by the second pass the laser settings remains the same however the pulse duration is now changed to 650 microseconds the purpose of the second pass is to create a fibrin clot which is stable which allows for soft tissue adhesion and biostimulation of the stem cells the purpose of fibrin clot is also to achieve enhanced healing the fibrin clot also prevents the bacterial infiltration into the tissue as well as the epithelial downgrowth into the tissue it ultimately leads to pocket reduction and new attachment advantages of nap over conventional pedonal therapy are it is a simple procedure it is predictable and is standardized it is minimally invasive and has a better patient compliance 
It causes less post-operative pain and discomfort to the patient. Hypersensitivity is rare. It is less prone to gingival recession, causes accelerated healing and regeneration of surrounding tissues around the teeth and dental implants. Radiographic correlation of NAP. In this image you can see there is an infrabony defect distal to the second molar. Use of NAP shows that there is formation at 3 months and also at 9 months it shows a stable result with sufficient bone growth. So to summarize, LANAP is a periodontal regeneration and new attachment procedure. It is indicated in periodontal defects, mainly the infrabony defects and peri-implant defects. It involves the first pass and the second pass and the laser use is the NDYG laser with a wavelength of 1064 nanometers. The advantages is that it is minimally invasive, causes less discomfort, it is a standardized process and is less prone to hypersensitivity and gingival recession. You can find the link to MCQs for this topic in the description of the video. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel for more videos and hit the notification bell for update on new videos. So see you in the next video. Till then, stay healthy and have an amazing week.